this is my bolt action CA2 air rifle. Uh, as you can see, it's the bolt there. This has got a 4x40 uh, zoom scope, 4x40 telescopic scope, and then that's your barrel there. Then that's your chamber, that's your chamber, that's your barrel. And the barrel continues, and then that's my silencer fitted on the end there. You can see the difference in size. And it goes up like that. Um, that's not a homemade science, so that's one which I've bought. A, a cheap one, but one which works pretty well. Uh, costs roughly about £30, pounds, but you can go up to sort of £200, £300 pounds if you want a good science. So this is just a normal spring by uh, bifold for the front, and I've just put some tape over it to make it better. Some camouflage tape. I've also put some decent camouflage tape at the front of the barrel, that on the barrel there. It's made from some nice hardwood with a nice finish on it. It has a rubber um, recoil pad at the back there. Uh, that's the safety catch there. That's the trigger. These are the pellets I use. They're super dome. Like that. They're domed ones. So I don't. Um, I don't normally use pointed pellets. I put a bit of. That's just for carrying a bag, but use cotton wool or fabric. So that means that if you're going out shooting, hunting, um, it doesn't rattle as much in your pocket because the, the stuff inside it's going to stop it. That's the part there. To load it up, put the bolt up, just slide the bolt to the back, and then put the pellet in there. But I'm not going to do it yet, I'll just show you what the sound is like. And then push the bolt all the way through it, forward again. So it was originally there, then just push it all the way forward. And then lock it down. So it's gone up, across, then back across again, then down. Just apply the bipod again. As you can see, you can pull the trigger back, but it's not going to do anything. So you have to release the safety catch. And that was pretty quiet compared to what it would be without the silencer. Um, I've got this. It's a full, hasn't been used at all yet, a full link scan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up like that. And then about here in front of it, I'll set up a little fire. Like um, almost like a bonfire, a really small one. So that when I fire the gun at this, it will pierce it, go all the way through, and it'll be like a, an explosion. So the can will, the inside of the can, all the deodorant and everything inside, will rush out um, with tremendous force into the fire. Obviously, that's going to catch fire, and it's just going to be one huge fireball. That's what, it, that's the theory anyway. Let's uh, put it into practice. So this is a piece of glass here, um, it's 3 millimeters thick. This is just to protect my camera when it's behind here, because the explosion will be here, and I don't exactly want my camera being damaged. Um, as you can see, it's very clear, but as you can see, it's got a big layer of dust on it, like black cloudy dust. That's the soot from the explosion, because I, I'm now filming this after the explosion, this little bit. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm refilming this bit, so you can see there the dust from the explosion. Okay, so it's in position here. That's my deodorant can there. That's some fuel tablets. They're hexi, hexi burner tablets. And I like them. That's what's going to put the flame in front of it. So that when that explodes, the flame will catch it. Then here, I've got my glass sheet with some clamps there, just holding it in place. That little stand there with my phone. So you should see. Deodorant can. So, just load my gun up, then I'll light the hexi burners, and then we'll fire it. Okay, so I'm going to run down there, 
and I'm going to put this can in, and then I'm going to run down there and shoot it when the, when the wind dies down a bit, because otherwise uh, it won't go through the flames. That was pretty big.